What's going on guys, Briar Rabbit here. Today we got a really special treat from Sledgehammer Games. So they released a single player campaign trailer, which was actually pretty good. It actually got me somewhat excited for playing the campaign, which I have had zero to no interest in uh, over the past few games, but it actually looked pretty good. But at the very end, they gave us a little taste of multiplayer. And that's what I'm showing you now at the very beginning of the video. I showed it to you at normal speed and that is all we got. I'm slowing it down here so you can actually see what was happening. You can see the uh, characters dashing from left to right and getting the super jumps and one guy jumps behind the other guy and actually gets the drop on him. And you can see in this one, this is the most interesting clip. You actually see a guy jumping from one platform to another getting hit out of the sky by, by the uh, main character here who gets a skeet shooter metal uh, but what I find interesting about this screen is all the stuff that's included here so what I'm actually gonna do is throw a screenshot up here uh, and just kind of let you know what I saw that really got me excited so first of all you see the setting obviously we're underneath the Golden Gate Bridge and you can see this huge wave coming by so that wave is obviously dangerous to the players I don't know if you'll have to get up to high ground to avoid it or if you'll just have to jump over the initial breaker of it, but it definitely looks dangerous to our players. Now, what I found really great is on the left-hand side, you can see the kill feed has been moved from the top to the left-hand side where it always has been. Uh, this will be a great joyous occasion to anybody who is frustrated with Call of Duty Ghosts kill feed getting moved to the top right. That was bogus. Uh, also, you can see the kill streaks on the bottom right. You can see what looks like a UAV and possibly a drone. Uh, now, what you can also see next to those are two numbers. The drone has 700 next to it, and what looks like a UAV has a 400 next to it. That, to me, pretty much means that score streaks are making a return in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, meaning that you'll be able to earn these score streaks by possibly capturing domination points or by killing enemy players or any other way, uh, and that's a really cool thing. That was a great addition to Black Ops 2, and I'm glad to see that make a return. Also, you'll see two little, uh, they look like heads, uh, next to your ammo counter in the bottom right-hand screen. My guess is that these are your Titan abilities, and it looks like there's two of them there. Uh, possibly you'll be able to select two or more Titan abilities to put on your character, and then underneath those, there's little bars that are filled up right now. Uh, and it's unclear to me, are those the amount of times you can use your Titan ability during a match? Is it a bar that goes low when you use them and then refills over time to let you use it again? But it's encouraging to me that you're not going to be able to just spam these Titan abilities. You'll actually have to be selective about using them uh, and wait for them to either recharge or maybe they're just gone for the match once you use them up. So all of that stuff, you know, this is really exciting stuff. I'm glad that we're starting to see a little bit of the multiplayer for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Uh, at the very end of the trailer, it did mention that on August 11th, we'll get a real multiplayer reveal, which will be great. I can't wait to see that. But it was nice to get a little teaser from Sledgehammer Games. So that's going to do it for this video. I Earlier today, I also released a video detailing what would be in the collector's editions of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So if you're interested in that, I'll put a link to it below. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button if you like this video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.